Hi everybody, Bob Deeth here. Um, excited to be speaking to you from the legislature on our second week. Last week was a very busy week. We had uh, the speech from the throne and also the budget that was introduced for 2024. That will be the last budget before the general election. Uh, I had the opportunity to speak to the throne speech and so if you have a chance to look online, you can see my comments on housing and healthcare and many of the other initiatives that were discussed in the throne speech. Uh, yesterday, I uh, had the opportunity to make a motion in regards to the work that's being done on housing uh, in private members time and also I did a two minute statement on the importance of long term housing for people suffering from mental health issues. So in, in regards to the budget and throne speech, it was uh, really important because uh, if you listen to the opposition right now, they're uh, talking about uh, uh, cutting uh, funds to our the budget uh, that uh, would result in um, reduced services and cutting programs. And so we are committed to helping folks, uh, whether that's uh, increasing healthcare supports, uh, creating more homes, uh, building resilience in the case of climate emergencies, and helping small businesses, uh, for example, with uh, help with the employer's health tax. Uh, one of the things that the Minister of uh, Health has brought up a number of times is the work that's being done with uh, doctors, with uh, um, family practices uh, around the province where we've added over 700 new net doctors to the system and thousands of uh, new nurses, which is really important. Um, we're also really pleased that the measures in regards to rental stock have uh, had some really big impact with the 30% increase in the rental homes that have been registered. We're uh, working very hard in terms of public safety and uh, we've seen a significant de decrease in uh, stranger and random attacks in the cities. Um, we're also seeing uh, some pretty interesting uh, things with uh, cost savings. One of them uh, is uh, free prescription contraception and of course uh, as many thousands and thousands of families around the province have seen a reduction in the cost of childcare. Now as far as the budget, there were some really uh, great pieces in there that I just wanted to share. One is increasing uh, the family, uh, the BC Family Benefit with a bonus this year um, and that'll help more than 340,000 uh, families every month. And so that's uh, really great. And also uh, free access to the first cycle of in vitro fertilization, really welcome news. And that'll be beginning next year. Um, we're also helping people and businesses with their electrical bills with a new, uh, new program there. Um, we're going to be providing a record capital funding support new schools, healthcare facilities and housing, including the very exciting BC Builds program, which is actually going to be taking uh, vacant or underutilized public lands and turn that into housing stock. We're also bringing in a flipping tax next year uh, to make sure that we can continue the work to stop uh, the speculation that has been driving prices up. So overall, there's a lot. I'm happy to talk to folks if you'd like to make an appointment or uh, come out to various uh, presentations that we're going to be having in the community in regards to the budget over the next few months. And I hope to see you in the community. Have a wonderful week and we'll see you soon. Bye now.